Hello everyone. In this video clip, I'm going to introduce the uh, probability model to evaluate the, the piping risk uh, at the embankment dams and also the alluvial soil and underneath of embankment dam. Uh, first of all, I'm going to explain uh, the difference between the subfusion and the piping. Uh, most people may not be familiar with the subfusion uh, terminology. So I am explain, already explained that breaching mechanism uh, near the, the filter media. So this kind of related to the subfusion. The fine particle has passed through the, that uh, larger construction area. And those types of micro scale uh, fine particle process is what we call the subfusion. And piping is a kind of macro scale. It's uh, once that uh, open space created by the subfusion, it uh, sustained and also progresses towards that upstream the direction and we call it is piping so and piping is is feasible within the embankment dam structure and also and many times the the foundation soil consisting of the alluvium layer that types of uh, piping also frequently observed the sand boil and the heaving and frequently over the in the dam toe area, that's related to that the piping uh, the associated with the foundation soil. And this figure shows uh, the consequence of uh, internal erosion. So it's not the uh, insig insignificant uh, event. So eventually, we uh, these types of continuing the seepage flows and the middle of dam that demolish the whole the dam structure. Even the foundation soil, the internal erosion the take, take place and eventually impact on the whole the dam structure above. So it created that the big hole above that dam structure and also it can create the dam big the pool uh, near the, the dam to area. So we call it the sand boiling. Uh, in this uh, video clips, I'm gonna uh, ex explain that uh, the piping mechanism uh, with this example. Um, so let's assume that we have this type of embankment, embankment dam. Um, embankment dam is a consist of the core in the center and the filter media and the downstream area. And usually the, the dam is uh, uh, constructed on top of that alluvial types of soil. So we call the top soil is alluvial soil one and the down the below the uh, alluvial soil is a soil two, we, uh, we call it. Uh, let's uh, we calculate the, how we can estimate the, the piping risk uh, through the that uh, only uh, through the that the dam structure and also to pass away pass b pass c is a we assume that pass through the door uh, below the that alluvial soil one and alluvial soil two so we also can examine and the core material erosion through the uh, alluvial soil one and alluvial soil two So relatively is easy to evaluate the, the piping risk uh, through the dam structure because um, most of the core material is a very narrow the, the range of a grain size distribution of the core material. So it's easy to uh, design the filter media and for the prevent that type of uh, internal erosion. However, how we can estimate the piping risk for the alluvial soil underneath the, the dam structure. So as you can see, it, um, many of the alluvial soil that shows a, a bright range of a, a grain size distribution. And so you can see is that there's a no, it's a clear trend of the, the grain size distribution and also the relative density. So that's a challenging topic. So how we can estimate, accurately estimate the piping risk for the alluvial soil. So, so we need to introduce kind of uh, reliability method to accurately estimate our uh, piping risk. 
And this relates to method is popularly used in the LRFT, load resistance factor design now. And load resistance factor design actually evaluated that uh, the to load the uh, data distribution and the resistance uh, the up uh, data distribution. So it's not the compared the two deterministic value, it compares to the data distribution value for load and the resistance. Um, so we can apply this analogy to piping problem and we may use a estimate the piping flow channel size and also you can estimate the erodible particle size date data distribution and we can present it as a mean value and the uh the vari variance so from the, that the comparison data distribution we can uh, uh calculate that the probability of a failure the presenting is a gray area so gray areas in presenting the particle size is smaller than the the piping flow channel. Okay, so that that actually cases is a is piping that take place. So how we can estimate the probability of a failure based on that uh, the flow ch um, piping channel size and also the erodible particle size. As you can see, is a well graded type soil is produced more at the piping flow channel size. So it's a wider uh, range, uh, more the largest variance value. And also the well graded pine particle uh, shows actually bright, uh, the larger uh, the variance. So those the well graded uh, types of alluvial soil actually eventually produce actually more higher a uh, great area that is actually the fail, fail, a probability of a failure. And even if the soil is uniformly graded, it was also loosely uh, densified, that, uh, deposited, and that also increased that, uh, create some the piping problem. So, so if it's densely deposited, if it's, it's uh, the flow channel size is smaller, so that can uh, reduce the that piping problem. So as I mentioned earlier, so Olivia story is a uh, shows uh, the this uh, varieties of uh, di uh, different uh, grain size distribution. So in this example, uh, we took the, the nine different location and the uh, Olivia soil soil one upper soil and uh, also nine different uh, grain size distribution from the soil two and the below soil, uh, the alluvial strata. And <clears throat> how do we evaluate that uh, at the, the erodible uh, particle size? And so we correspond, we just uh, throw the, uh, draw the, this horizontal line matching the 10% weight and 20% the particle size. So the corresponding uh, that uh, uh, the each particle size is presenting over uh, corresponding 20% of mass uh, piping uh, erodible soil. And previous uh, uh, video clips, I will ex explain that, uh, the, um, how to we calculate the construction size distribution uh, from the dead grain size distribution. Um, from the renormalization uh, method, we actually could estimate 28% uh, uh, relate to matching the 28% of the construction size is kind of critical point. So below the, that the range of a particle will, will pass through and the pipe is piping through. And uh, the larger particle above that criteria, uh, this uh, crit critical size will remain. So eventually after piping problem and that uh, graded uh, soil is a kind of uh, grain size distribution change like uh, the black line. Um, this is, is a current uh, the dam filter design, and uh, it's also accomplished that uh, if it were kind of a grain size distribution filter media, eventually it changes at times of this self segregation happen. So, so in the 
the practical design also account for that the surface segregation of a filter media. And so we just pick up uh, just a representative of the particle size and the particle uh, from the alluvial soil and the sample of three and the sample of seven. And from the based on the data grain size distribution, we actually uh, calculate that this green line is a constriction size. So 28% corresponding this criteria and after the piping and the, the, the erodible soil is a, is a, uh, has a different uh, grain size distribution after piping. And the seven case is a much, the, about 20% of pine, uh, pine particles are eroded. And, uh, so, so remain the soil and the, the grain size distribution skeleton is a, a huge difference from the original, the, uh, grain size distribution curve. So, so, Using that uh, the statistic analysis um, for the, the Arobia soil one and soil two, um, so each the, the sample number are we actually getting actually the uh, piping pro channel size um, depends on the, the relative density of the, the Arobia soil. Okay. Um, so I'm going to just explain the how we can actually getting at the the the, the piping pro channel size, and this is example of the the number three sample, and you just plug in this uh, data uh, grain size distribution here. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it's a uh, Alluvial soil also can self segregate or several um, the ero uh, erosion happen. So, how we can evaluate that? And we first thing is the self segregation. So we put that uh, the filter media size is zero, and then we just calculate again. I can see if the self segregation happen and uh, at the near the interface is a fine particles accumulated, but the upper soil has a kind of a eroded here. So we actually getting in the upper upstream area, the, the current uh, construction size distribution. So we just plug in this construction size in the applied as a filter media. And uh, we did calculate again. You can see and the that the construction size uh, it's, it's uh, producing the about the 10 percent of a pine particle uh, migration consistently so we actually know that at the construction curve uh, this this is a kind of validated uh, is a uh, the piping problem of this uh, type of alluvial soil and for another example at the seven and this is a it's a different uh, grain size curve so we actually created these types of uh, and the construction size. And as you can see, is uh, about 20% of fine particles is uh, eroded uh, from the data calculation. So, so from the data probability model, actually you can evaluate, accurately evaluate how much is the piping mass uh, weight loss is uh, anticipated from the each different uh, solid alluvial. And Eventually, you just summarize. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, summarize those actually internal erosion, the the pro piping pro channel uh, size, and also and the corresponding. Yeah, the 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 ten percent and twenty percent of the erodible particle size, and uh, you just to uh, put it together in the summary table, and then you're getting this uh, mean and the standard deviation. And so eventually you're actually getting this beta value of a reliability index. So so you actually compare and this uh, probability density function and you eventually getting and uh, uh, calculate uh, the uh, probability of uh, failure. Okay. 
Um, so I just briefly uh, explained that how to use the probability model uh, to uh, accurately estimate the piping potential of the alluvial soil.